This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert After Effects title packs into motion graphic templates for Premiere Pro. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tyler Kidd. Today, I'm gonna show you a sick workaround to get tons of motion graphic templates into Premiere Pro. I haven't seen anybody do this yet, so I was hyped when I figured this out. If you find this video helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe for more of my videos and hit the notification bell. It helps me out. So normally most people would create a title in After Effects and then export it out for later use. This is time consuming and one title could take you all day figuring out how to do all these cool transitions and motion graphics. But with my little trick, we're gonna take tons of professional pre-made titles and convert them into motion graphic templates so you can have hundreds of pro titles in no time. So for this video, I reached out to Storyblocks video and they hooked it up. I am very excited to announce I have my very first sponsor. This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Oh, come on, Tyler, get on with the video. I know, I know, but video blocks is an essential tool for this trick. With Storyblocks video, you can download tons of assets for your videos. They have a huge library of backgrounds, After Effects templates, and royalty-free stock video. If you need stock photos or royalty-free music, you can also upgrade your plan and use everything on Storyblocks website. I use their backgrounds for green screen videos and their After Effects templates to cut down on editing all the time. But today's video is all about the tons of After Effects title packs Videoblocks has. Normally the workflow would be a pain having to edit your titles in After Effects and then having to export them out and all that garbage. What I'm going to show you today is how to turn these After Effects title packs into editable titles in Premiere so you can speed up your workflow. If you consider signing up to Storyblocks video, please use my link in the video description. I'll receive a little commission on it, so help a brother out. <laughs> However, if you want the full benefits of Storyblocks video membership, you need to purchase the unlimited video package for $16 a month or $199 a year so you have access to the After Effects templates. One stock clip could cost you hundreds of dollars and some companies' title packs at $50 a piece start to add up. So this is a good deal. All right, so let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is download our title pack from Storyblocks. So we're going to Google Storyblocks. Boom, Storyblocks. And then we're going to search for title pack and it should come up with a ton of title packs here. You see there's one with 50 title packs, there's this one with uh, 30 title packs, this one's probably got another 20. So there's 100 titles for you, right there. So if you go to After Effects, there's gonna be more for what we're doing. So I found these cool glitch titles, and I downloaded them, and now we're on to step two. So step two is to Number one, make sure you have your font downloaded. So this guy included a font. We're gonna download that font so it looks sweet. And then the second step in step number two is we're going to open up our title pack. All right, so as you can see right now, it's kind of a mess. There's a bunch of things going on, but I'm gonna help you figure it out. So on this top bar here, we can see all of the titles that this guy has included. So this is title number one. It's a sweet little glitch title. And we got title number two. Yeah, so that's just gonna help us break it up. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open up this new window. We're gonna go to window and hit essential graphics. All right, so now we're on to step number four. And what we're gonna do is select which composition or which title we wanna use. So we're gonna use number one. Boom, that's the one we want. And then what we're gonna do is solo the supported properties. So this lets us figure out what we can edit in this title when we bring it over to Premiere Pro. All right, so we clicked solo supported properties. And if we scroll down, we can see all of the things it is going to let us use. So some of this we aren't going to need, but some of it we might. So for instance, 
the Creative Studio and the MD Lab Design part, we're just going to take this source text and drag it right up. Source text for that, and that's Creative Studio and source text for MD Lab Design. So we're, what we're also going to do is click Edit Properties and just select all of these so that way when you bring it into uh, Premiere Pro, you have a lot more options instead of just changing the text like the word. <laughs> so now we have all these properties that we can do. We can change, you know, make it italic, um, bold, anything just with all these little tools. All right, so I'm gonna change the top text to Tyler Kid, and then the bottom text I'm going to change to Awesome Dude, just for now. And they made it cleaner by making it like that. So what we also want to do is drag up our position properties and maybe our scale properties for this. So we're going to drag up position for awesome dude. And we're also going to drag up position for Tyler kid. And as you can see, like it's literally that easy. You just drag these things up into the essential graphics panel for anything that you want to edit in the title that this guy already made. So I'm gonna maybe move this to the center, boom. So this title pack didn't come with a color control. Usually you can just grab a color control from the box and you can change the colors. But this title pack is lame. So what we're gonna do is um, do it ourselves. So we're going to do change to color. First, we need to put an adjustment layer. We're gonna do new adjustment layer and put that on top of everything. Boom, on top of everything. And then do change to color. So what this does is lets us take our red and change it to whatever we want. And if we change the hue and saturation and lightness and all those things, it just lets us change the color completely. So as you saw, when I didn't, when I just had it on hue, it didn't change to white. But if I do hue and saturation and lightness, then it does all the stuff. So that's what you want because you can really customize your color. So now I can go into here and maybe choose like a teal. Maybe I want like a dark, oh, that didn't really work. So maybe we go to saturation and yeah, hue and saturation. So that works. Sweet. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so basically now that we figured out that we can change the color and that it works, what we're going to do is solo supported properties again, click it, and then it should come up with our color. So like, like I said, if it had a color control that it would show you right there and you can change it. Um, so basically we just made our own color control. All right. So we're going to drag this color up to, oops, we're going to drag the two. That's what we want to grab. And then we can just rename this to color and boom. Now we can change our color to whatever branding we want. So we got like a bright pink purple, boom, done. Say we're like red freaking boom, done. Red branding, bam. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep it at that. And so what we're gonna do, all of that stuff should work. All of that stuff should work fine. So I think I'm ready to export my motion graphic and to make sure that it looks how I want it to look when it ends up in Premiere, I'm going to um, set poster time. So now it's gonna say Tyler Kid, awesome dude, because that's what it's looking at on screen. If I wanted it to have like the glitch effect, so I know it's a glitch effect while I'm looking at the title, I can do set poster time right there. And then as you can see up there, so boom, I actually like it more right there and then what I'm gonna do is call this modern glitch title 01 because there's a series of eight. Step number five is export the motion graphic template. So we're gonna click export motion graphics template and it's gonna ask you if you wanna save, just click save. All right, so boom, we're gonna save it right here. Just save it and then it's gonna ask you where you want the actual motion graphic to be saved. So I'm gonna look this up. Modern Glitch Title 01. Boom, 
I like the name safe. All right, we want to make sure we have these two things selected because if you don't, then it might not work in Premiere Pro and you won't know why. So this just lets you know like, hey, this motion graphic isn't gonna work because this, that, and the other. So yeah, click those. So we're gonna click okay. So basically you just repeat the process for the rest of these titles. So say we were gonna do number two, we would just click the master and then go over to the number two composition and then just keep going down the line. I'm gonna show you a little time lapse of me doing a whole light leak pack for some reason, just because I wanted some light leaks in my motion graphic template, but I did like 20 of them in like an hour. So yeah. It's pretty, pretty sweet. All right, so step number seven is to upload your motion graphic title into Premiere Pro. So this guy says, here's how you do it for Mac and here's how you do it for Windows. So as you can see, here's all of my motion graphics. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just drag the one I made into this new thing. Here's my After Effects title packs. And then we're going to go to Modern Glitch Titles and we have the Mogurt files. And then I'm gonna make a new folder in here just cause I like to stay organized. Modern Glitch Title Pack, boom. And then we're gonna drag this in there. Boom, now that's done. So now when we open up Premiere Pro, we should have our motion graphic title. All right guys, so I've opened up Premiere Pro, I've dragged in my little clip, and we're gonna start a new sequence. Boom, there's Tyler. And then we're going to look for our modern glitch title. There's our title, and then we're just gonna drag it in. And then when we scroll over, we have a sweet glitch. And then if you, you wanna continue it, all you're gonna do is duplicate that one. I'm holding Alt and dragging it out and then you do control R and reverse it. And now you have the title going back. So say I wanted to edit this title, say my name is not in fact Tyler Kid, or I am not in fact an awesome dude. Say let's put um, videographer. Boom, I can change that text there, maybe make it italic. Let me make this one italic too. And then yeah change the size, maybe make this one bigger, drag it really to the center, and then maybe I want this over to the left, and then I can just drag all of this over here, boom. And then say I want the color like a freaking teal. There we go. So there's a, we changed the color. So the name is John Doe. Let's say John Doe, boom. Easy as that, move it to the middle, done. And with all of those edits that we made, we still have the glitch going on. All right guys, so I hope your minds are blown like mine was, and hopefully now you can start cranking out some super high quality videos with all your new motion graphic template files. Again, if you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. It does help me out. And please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.